Hi there, this is King Bikirago and I'm here with none other but Adekunle Gold for the Source and Capital FM Kenya. First of all, I hope I pronounce your name right because I feel like people have been... I want to say, yeah, the first to say it right. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like people have been murdering your name. People have been... The recent, in the recent past, I've heard people call you Adek, Adenkule, Adekunle, Ad, so many things. Do, do, does that happen in Nigeria too? Oh, definitely. How can I happen in Nigeria? <laughs> That's my home. Yeah. They know how to speak my name. Yes. Yeah. But here, I feel like people will struggle with it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's Ade Kunle Gold. Ade Kunle. Ade Kunle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you've been here for the uh, past couple of days. How is the Kenyan experience so far? Are you loving Nairobi? Are you loving the uh, weather and everything else? Chef kiss, <laughs> love it, <laughs> love, love it. it way too much. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, like we were saying earlier, Kenyans are so Kenyans are so excited to have you over, and I feel like the whole of the city is going to um come to race course on Saturday to see your performance. How are you preparing for that? Are you ready for the masses? How what's going on um in your mind as you ready off? There's only just about a day to go before the actual performance. I've been ready for four years. <laughs> so what do you think? Born ready. Born ready. I'm ready. All right. I'm happy for everything that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for the experience that yeah. we are going to get. Uh -huh. so, yeah. All right. Um, and you've had quite this um, a huge amount of success for the last couple of years, which all started um, in 2015 officially, I would say, when you did said, uh, uh, which was actually a cover of One Direction's hit single, So You're My Life. How was that transition from being a lesser known artist to a household name and a big uh, African star? It's been um, a roller coaster of emotion. It's uh -huh. been. Um, it's been steady growth, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm thankful that um, for every milestone, there's like, um, I mean, there's been ups and downs, mm -hmm. but then there's been mm -hmm. mostly I've recorded successes, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and one of it is being here, you know, to perform for the first time, you know, in a country that's not my place, mm -hmm. and, which is now home as yes. well. Yes. So it feels good. Um, I'm thankful yeah. for the journey. I'm thankful for the fans mm -hmm. because without the fans, like. This will not be happening. Yes. So shout outs, big ups, everybody. Mm -hmm. Big ups. Okay. Um, your songs, okay, it is what it is, and uh, the collaboration with David, among many other songs, are actually really huge hit on TikTok. Uh, of course, on the airwaves as well, on radio and TV and everything. Um, how would you say the streaming services and the current technology with TikTok and everything have impacted your music sales and your music generally, in contrast to when you started out? I mean, hugely, because when we started, when I started out, it was just about um, iTunes sales, you know. But now, um, there's too many platforms, you know. Mm -hmm. Shout out to all the platforms, because um, all the successes that we're recording right now, mm -hmm. is just based on the um, recent technology. Yes. Just, just your song on TikTok can just change your life. True. Look at CK, you look at... Look at now, uh, mm -hmm. Marie, mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of them. So much. You know, and then this Somalian lady, yeah. I've forgotten her name, but yeah, see how mm -hmm. just one song and then TikTok is changing her life right yeah. now. It's just mm -hmm. like recording like massive views and everything. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm thankful for the um, current influx of technology, like yeah. um, the impact has been very helpful. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Um, so you, when you started out, you were signed onto a label, which you later left and started out your own band. And I wonder what your label experience was and what advice you'd probably give an artist who's coming up right now, a budding artist, trying to get a record deal. What would you tell them? How was your record label um, experience and what would you tell somebody trying to get signed? You know, I see other um, artists complain about labels. I didn't have it that way. Mine was perfect. Yeah. It was good. Uh -huh. I'm just going to say to people, yeah, it's good to, I mean, it's good to be signed to the majors. It's good to be signed to any label. Mm -hmm. Just know that nothing will be handed to you. You need to also work. Mm -hmm. Your label will not brush your teeth for you. Yes. You will do it yourself. <laughs> yeah. Like, the label will put money, send you on radio, do whatever. Mm -hmm. But the bulk of the work mm -hmm. is with you. It's you with need you. to operate like you're not signed. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to go about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Mr. Easy, your fellow Nigerian superstar, recently made um, a very interesting statement that had Kenyans talking. He said that, which is very interesting now that you're here to perform, he said that Nigerians, Nigerian musicians make a lot of money in Kenya. And he pretty much insinuated that you guys wouldn't make as much in Nigeria. I don't know how accurate that is. So what's your take on that? Because that's your fellow Nigerian yeah, superstar. He said you don't make that much in Nigeria. Uh, yeah, he said you, you wouldn't make as much as you make in Kenya. That's literally what he said. Verbatim. So, what's your take on that? That's your fellow countryman. I mean, 
I don't know what he's talking about, <laughs> but hey, to each his own. Yeah, to I, do, I don't want to touch on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, now, Essence was a huge Nigerian hit, and it pretty much was branded the song of the summer, Worldwide, which is no main feat, of course. Um, and there's been so much success in your country, musically speaking, um, with your fellow musicians headlining tours abroad and everything. What would you attribute that kind of Nigerian music success to? Like, what would you say is why you guys have succeeded so much? You're here, people love you, people know your music, people sing, people can sing your songs word for word, your concert is gonna be full to the brim. What would you say is what you would attribute that kind of success to? First of all, I think uh, we need to give credit to the artists. Like, the music is great, hands down. Like, the music that's coming out of Nigeria, coming out of Africa generally, mm-hmm. the music is fantastic. That's so, I mean, the, I don't think there will be any success if the, if, this, if the music is not good. Yeah. Right, but then also there's the work. Mm-hmm. Nigerian artists are there to say, I mean, I can speak for my people mm-hmm. because I know how we also, yes. we work the hardest. Mm-hmm. I tell you for a fact. Yeah. Like one of the reasons, like I came here four years ago to promote. And ever since four years, mm-hmm. ever since I came here, I've been steady, like just sending my music here. Yes. Not just here. Mm-hmm. I've done the same in Ghana. Places, yes. Done the same in Uganda, mm-hmm. Tanzania. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah, I was. I've been in America for like uh, for like uh, for like two years now. Mm-hmm. Just working the music. Yes, it's the hard work. Yes, it's, uh, the music is good. Mm-hmm. But then, how do you how do people find out about it? If yes. it's just if it's good and then you're not pushing it, there's no point. Yeah. So that's what we do. We just go mm-hmm. to territories. We don't ask for permission. We just go, and then we we'll make it happen. Got it, got it. So let me understand, what's your typical day like when you're recording? How do you start the day? How do you end up? What's your writing process? Well, yeah, pretty much what's your typical recording and writing day like? How does it start? How does it end? I take my time to make music. Some songs I make for, for a whole year. Like Hi, for example, I, I wrote it in, I started in January. Mm-hmm. I finished in August. You know, I don't, I don't stress. When it comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, uh-huh. on to the next thing. Mm-hmm. But I'm always writing. Yeah, I'm always writing. Some days it just it can just be, I just start a song and then not finish it. You know. So um, yeah. Other than that, I'm always I'm on the road. I've been on the road since July. Just been everywhere, mm-hmm. and I'm here now. I'm going to different places as well. The day in my life is is interesting. I just need to be uh, ready to have sleepless nights. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And do you have any particular sources of inspiration for your music? Where do you draw inspiration from? If you want to write a song about something, where do you draw inspiration from? Your own experiences, other people's experiences, or I don't know. Everything, my story, people's story, uh-huh. things around me. Uh-huh. I just open my mind, yeah. open my ears, mm-hmm. and then my eyes mm-hmm. just to see things. Um, you have three albums under your belt, and you recently said that um, the next year is going to be your year. I wonder what that meant, and I wonder what you have cooking. Another, another new album, like you've said, collaborations. I, what do you have cooking for the coming year? There's only like about two months to. Bangers upon bangers upon bangers. Uh-huh. You already know how this year went. Three solid singles, three hit singles, yeah. and then next year is going to be even be crazier. This collaboration on a new project is coming, but uh-huh. I'll, I'll wait for you guys to. Mm-hmm. I'll let for you guys wait. Any spoilers? No. <laughs> no, no None. All right. What would be your advice to Kenyan industry players in the industry? Like we've said, there's so much success in Nigeria. Um, and I know a lot of Kenyan musicians look up to many Nigerian musicians. We're doing good here, but of course, you guys are doing excellent. What would, you, what would be your advice to Kenyan industry players? Not just the musicians, um, promoters, producers, and those kind of people. What would you tell them? What kind of what piece of advice would you tell them when it comes to like industry gro- growth? Yeah. I mean, I'll first of all, start with the media. The media needs to do more. You know, needs to do more pushing uh, the music. I mean, the, the content here. You know, like the priority should be mm-hmm. Kenyan yes. artists. Like, there's there's no two ways about it. That's how it works, mm-hmm. right? And then the music is already great. Mm-hmm. Like, what else do you need to do? Um, I tell people it's not enough to. Except, of course, you just want to be uh, the biggest artist here. That's fine. But I mean, for some of us, we don't we don't limit ourselves. You know. I think it's about time you go out, you know, go to na- neighboring countries, you know. It is Africa, like, there's, there's too many countries where you can just go to Ghana, come to Nigeria, yeah. come to some promo work, 
That's how, that's how to get your music out there. Yeah. That's how we, that's how most of us get our music. I don't know for other people, yeah. but that's how I constantly push my music here. Mm -hmm. And I don't just do it here, mm. do it everywhere else. Yeah. Just travel randomly, just wake up, go to the UK, go to Ghana, go to, that's what I do. So mm -hmm. I feel like more, more artists need to do that. But most important, mm -hmm. importantly, mm -hmm. I think priorities need to be placed on the, on the music here. Yeah. All right. Um, now, as we wind up, um, what's your parting shot to your fans, your fav um, your, your, the people who really love you and your music and everything? What's your parting shot? What do you have to tell them? And what can they expect on Saturday? I was going to say, come out with all your energy, you know, yeah. come out, come out, expressing everything. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. And then, love you guys. Thank you very much for supporting me. This means a lot to me. Big ups. Yeah.